So at Peripal, we want to bring patients back home. That's our vision, to get them out of the hospital into their homes where they belong. Now, this is Helga. Helga is a diabetic and she has kidney disease. So her kidneys don't work anymore, so she can't go to the toilet and her body can't go get rid of the toxins. What she needs is dialysis, a therapy for her chronic, um, for her chronic uh, state, and she needs to go to the hospital three times a week for about half a day. So it takes a lot of time for her to get to the hospital, to get the therapy, but it's not just for her time and money spent, also for the payers, because the treatment is very expensive. Now, as she lives quite far away from the hospital, a nurse actually tells her, you can do this at home if you wish. What happens is, it's a different therapy modality, which is called peritoneal dialysis. You fill your peritoneum, which is inside your body, with the dialysis fluid. You let it in there, you let it filter out the toxins, and then you actually drain again what you have in your body. You fill it with new dialysis fluid, you let again remove it the toxins, and you drain it again. And this goes on like this. And the nurse told her, don't worry, it's very easy, you can do it at home. The most important thing is, don't touch the connection, the catheter that you get in your belly with your skin, with your fingers, because then you might have an infection, which of course is nothing you want to have for a chronically ill patient. So, don't worry, said the nurse, it's very easy. What you actually do is, you remove your cap, you put these dialysis fluid bags to it. When, you do, when you've done this, you then actually open a tap, you let it flow down into one of the bags, you close the tap again, you open another tap, you let it flow a little bit into the bag down, you then close this one again with a clamp, you then break a frangible, you let it flow in again, and then in the end, you put down the tap again, and then you close it. Very easy. Well, for Helga, who is an elderly person, it's not easy. And on top of that, because she's a diabetic, her eyes are impaired and her dexterity of the hands as well. So what would be if we could actually facilitate all these steps, make it much easier and safer with a device? And this is actually what we wanted to do with Peripol. So, if Helga can get Peripol, actually, she has a device in front of herself. And instead of putting away the tubing and screwing it together, she just needs to pull a lever, and then she's connected to the dialysis system and the dialysis fluid, and can start her therapy. Instead of doing a lot of clamping and manipulations with all those taps, she can just push a button. And with all that together, Helga can actually do her therapy at home. It's not just that she can now stay at home. She also needs less time to learn the entire therapy manipulations. It's also that the payer has less cost for her, because worldwide, in, on average, the, the, the healthcare systems save about 10 to 20 million US dollars per year per patient, a huge amount of money. So we hope that we, with our device we have come one step closer so that more patients can run their therapies at home. And that's the vision that we have. Thank you very much.